Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have Orin's Crystalline Didem. So here it is on an Asura. Uh, on Asura, it looks like it's a mask. I think from the promo pictures, anyway, it looks like it's going to be a helmet on humans at least. But yeah, very simple. It's got a nice kind of shimmer effect. Very similar to Orin's current model. Looks like it stretches a little bit over the head. Just a little bit. And it's got two die channels. So let's check those out now. So it's always going to have that kind of bluish kind of shimmer to it. This is with two Shadow Abyss. The top layer is going to be... So that is the top layer in orange, which is actually hard to see. Let's try green. You kind of see it a little bit. It's very faint. It's more so just the aura it seems to be changing. A little bit, anyway. And then bottom layer bit more prominent as you can see there with the orange let's go for a green again bit more prominent it's green and orange look like that's actually kind of nice so yeah the dyes they don't really affect it too much it's just the sort of glows uh, a little bit, if you go for a dark color, it will be a little bit muted. But it's still going to be very nice starting out. It's actually kind of nice with the Shadow Abyss. It looks uh, looks good. But anyway, <laughs> let's go show this off on all races. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I was going to show it off on a good old Mushroom Head. But I think I'll change to another character. It just looks so weird. I actually quite like it, though. It's really weird, though. But, yeah. If it tends to get a mushroom head, I would have a... Done a better demo over there. But here we are on a Mesmer. Oh, my God. It sticks through the hair, too. That's kind of annoying. But there it is. With the leaves and all. <laughs> on Silvari. I think this is going to be a common theme then. If it's happening on two characters here. It's going to keep going with any character. With hair it seems. So do take that into account. Um. Yeah. There is Silvari. Let's move on. Also, you can check out this week's giveaway. The link for that should be in the top right-hand corner. And I'll be giving away... Should be three items. And uh, that should be over here. But anyway, let's move on. Here we are on a Norn. Again, the hair is getting in the way. As I said, it's probably going to be a common theme with this item going forward. But it does kind of if it didn't have the hair there I think it would be a nice headpiece if it was on top of the hair there we go let's move on to the next what dyes is that actually it's orange isn't it because I do the sky scale horns tarnished steel and sienna it's not bad Let's get going. Here we are on Char, and actually... Well, I don't know if you have any, like, big horns going forward or anything if it gets in the way, but... It's working perfectly on Char. Which is good. So there we go. Nice up close look at it. Alright, there is Char. 
Actually, does it have a little trail effect or anything? No. No, it doesn't. Right, let's move on. Here we are on human. Again, a bit of hair in the way. Not as bad as the other characters, but still, that is annoying. I would have rather the mask be, or the ditem, I should say, be the front layer. But, it is a nice little ditem. Like, I kind of wish you could match it with something. Like, if you could put it with the, could give it a, a, a back... Even like, uh, I suppose this isn't a heavy class, but just something so that the hair is covered, I guess. If I had like a, a helm and a item skin, but you know. So yeah, I think apart from the buggingness with the hair, the fact that it's not given priority, uh, it is quite a nice little headpiece apart from that so if you had a ball character maybe um or someone who doesn't have too much hair but yeah it's worth 500 gems and let's head back to Quando to wrap up the video right that is it for today's demo guys i do hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did and subscribe for more in the future you can head on over to the giveaway as i said earlier on uh, the link for that should be in the top right hand corner. And I'll be giving away three items this week, so I have to choose either goes to account name or character name over in the comment section of that video, and I'll pick a winner next week. Uh, but yeah, that's it from me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I'll be back later on in the week, but until then, you can join the Discord to stay up to date with all things new on the channel, such as new videos when I go live and our weekly screenshot challenge every Saturday in Guild Wars 2. That's it for me for today, so until next time, take care, thank you so much for watching.